Yes people, hope everyone's good. Welcome back to the channel. I've been making a lot of drill beats recently, so I thought in today's video, let's switch it up a little bit. I'm just gonna be making a beat from scratch. I'm feeling like a melodic trap beat, maybe some guitars, some flutes, like a little baby gunner type beat. But yeah, it's gonna be lit, make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new around here and you like this type of content, what are you guys doing, man? Come and join the family, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well. Anyway, enough talking, come and join me on my screen and let's get straight into the Cool, cool. Damn severe, that's crazy. Welcome to the video. Like I say, we're going for a trap beat today. I am sort of feeling the melodic vibe, so maybe some guitars, some flutes. Like I say, Lil Baby Gunner type vibes. I might not be speaking as much, but I'll input where it's necessary. But I'm just going to show you the process of making the melodies, give you some tips and tricks along the way. And you know it's going to have some fire drums as well, so let's get into the cook up. So in my FL studio, I've actually lowered the tempo to 124 BPM. And I'm just going to go and open an Omnisphere. And I'm just going to use this jazz guitar. This is out of the guitar section. So we've got the scale set to F sharp minor. And yeah, I'm just going to come up with a few bass notes. And we're just going to make the foundation of the melody. <laughs> I think I'm just going to add a top line in as well. I'm just going to make a few chord in the mid range now and we're just going to give it a strum effect as if it's being played by the guitar. Go into Omnisphere again and grab a bell. I'm just going to throw a quick EQ and reverb on the guitar too. Same with the belt. Next, we're going to go back into Omnisphere again. All these melodies are going to be out of Omnisphere and we're going to grab a flute.
So these are all the melodies that we came up with. We've got the guitar, we've got a bell, and we've also got a flute. So it's sounding real melodic, real clean, and now we're gonna get straight into the drums. I'm gonna be using my satin drum kit for this beat. So first off, we're gonna grab a hi-hat, and we're actually gonna go into the clockwork hi-hat MIDI kit as well. This is 50 midis, they're all fire, perfect for trap beats. The link's in the description to the kit, so make sure you go check them out. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna start layering in some percussion. So we're gonna head back into the satin kit and we're gonna see what we can come up with. Ooh, that is sounding vibey. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna waste no time. We're gonna get straight into the 808. Gonna be using my Fly 808, make sure it's cut by itself. And I'm just gonna be following the root notes of the melody. This is gonna be a real simple pattern, but let's see what we can come up with. Okay. That is sounding real clean, real vibey. And what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna grab a kick and we're gonna make the 808 punch a little bit harder. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to right click the pattern, split by channel, and we're going to get into some basic structure. So let's see what we can come up with for that. So I've got a nice little bit of structure on the go. I've got a few effects out of my kit. This just gives certain areas of the beat a little bit more transition. We've also got these beat cutouts here and there as well. And lastly, I've added in my tag too. And I think that pretty much tops it off for this one. So I think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen.
Ooh. And then straight back in. This one is sounding so smooth. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. This one was a little bit different, but I had real fun making this one. And if you like this style of video, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to keep them coming. But if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at SurveyorProv to keep updated with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.